Hello everyone, welcome to my video today. Today I will share about the azimuth determination by a solar observation. I will include a few procedures and the calculation also. So, I am Diu Chuan Yi and I am now studying a Bachelor of Geometric Engineering in UDM. The purpose of I am doing this video is to share about how to carry out the solar observation and how to do the calculation during the field work. All my sharing is based on my understanding on the solar observation learned. So if that got any mistake, welcome to inform me and correct me. I will add my PowerPoint animation to bring you to experience the field work and we some sample data of the solar observation. Let's go. First, we need to set up the instrument. So we need a dot station, a prism we set above the our under to our refer point, and we have we also need to have a sun, so we can make our solar observation. Next, proceed to the observation for set one. In solar observation, we need to do the observation with at least two set of observation. Okay, first we proceed to the field observation. Okay, in the diagram you can see that is a cross head of the total station, which is target on the prism. So, I will also map booking together with you guys and show you how to map a booking together. When we target to the back side of the prism over the reference point, we will get a reading of a horizontal angle 162.00 that is in the unit of D degree, minute and second. So, in our booking form, we fill in, in the, this column. The Ufo, this DR is for Thunder to Jukan, so we fill in it's a degree, millisecond here. So we key in with 162.00.00 in this column. So for the time, we not need to take not because this is not a solar observation, we only take the back side of the, our bearing. So next. We will continue to make a solar version. So this kind this time is very important because we have to not the time when we are looking having a solar observation. So the time not of our observation is the local time. Next we want to make a solar observation on the sun. So the time is very important for us to map the calculation that are on. Next, we move the target to the sun at the edge, right hand side. So we have to have a reading of this at the time at o'clock 28 minutes and 59 seconds. So we jot down the time here at 59. And the horizontal angle at the right hand side is here. We drop down at 96, 19, and 0, 0. Okay, for the book, is our vertical angle, so we drop down also for 74, 56, 20 in the column of book. Next. We move the total station target on the left hand side of the sun. So we get a reading here. So we make a record on the booking at 2917. This is the time of the observation. And this is the horizontal angle. And the last one is the vertical angle. The 
turn over our observation into a circle right observation. We turn 180 degree and map our observation on the left hand side of the sun. So we jot down the data also. Okay, last we move our observation target from the left hand side to the right hand side of the sun. We also may a record on our view book. Okay. Lastly, we turn our dotation back to our bedside, which is a standard dujukan. So we have a reading of horizontal angle 342 degree. Okay. Next, we will continue and repeat the observation for set 2. The procedure is totally the same as a procedure for the step 1. So, same as we read the observation on the back side and enjoy the reading and move the cross head totalization to our right hand side of the sun. Next, move to the left hand side of the sun and we turn over our totalization for circle right observation. Then we read the observation at the left, left hand side and the right hand side of the sun. Then lastly, we target back to our bedside on the reference mark and join up all the reading. So this is the overall fieldwork procedure for a solar observation. Okay, this is the data that I had discussed before from the stimulation of the presentation in the slide. So, I have write down all the data in the booking form as shown in this booking form. So, first, we have to calculate the mean time of the observation by calculating this one, two, three, four in order to get the mean. So, we have to add the all the time all the time and divided by four in order to get the mean time. So the mean time is at thirteen we round off uh, round off. So in this we have to minus s because of the we have to convert it to the universal time. So same with this we will get a mean of thirty four minus at zero at thirty four. Okay. For the Burata Katiao is this and this we have to get a mean one six two O O plus this we have to minus 180 to get a mean divided by 2 is 162. So same as this, the is okay. So next we have to calculate the horizontal angle of the sun, which is this one, 2, 3, 4. We have the 96, 95, 275, 276. We have to add it together and get a mean value so that we have the bearing a horizontal angle brother to matahari. So how to calculate it? We have uh we have to calculate let's say this is A A B B. So we had the mean is A plus A plus B plus B divided by 4. So it, the B is in the circle left, so it's great. So we have to minus 180 in order to get back to 96. Ah. So it's very easy. I, 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 sh sh I sure that everyone can, be cal can calculate it. Ah. Plus
Okay, so this is the mean of the Burata Matahari. So we write it down. Okay. Same also for the set two observation data. We after we calculate we will get a value of ninety six zero nine and four nine. After we calculate with A A B B divided by four. Okay. So next for the this part the total station reading is in the zenith angle well for our desire value is in the altitude value so so this is a zenith angle this is a zenith angle so we how to get a altitude value so we have to 90 degree minus the zenith angle or the total station value so that we can get an altitude angle so that we have to calculate as 90 degree minus the value and for the circle right is uh, we have to use a value minus 200 270 okay they say this A, A, B, B. The mean will be A, A, A plus A plus B plus B over by 4. Okay, so after calculate, after calculate, I calculate for you for one example. 10 plus 19 minus 74, 52, 50 plus 25, 50. Negative two seven O plus two F five twenty one twenty negative Okay. Then we get answer divided by four. We will get value of fifteen twelve forty five for the Burata Tinjao altitude angle. So the BR Sun we will read from the table of Paris error. So, I will put a diagram of the Paris table in the screen. Okay, from the table, we can get the value of the value for the correction, which is for the altitude angle, 15, 12. But the nearest value in the table is 15, 10. So we get a value, it is the value negative 3 minute and 0, 04 second. So we go back to the booking form. Okay, this is the value we get from the table. After we get the table, we will write down in this column and we final we will calculate for the Tinjau de la last, which is this minus this A, B is a minus b so we will get answer 15 0, 9 and 41 okay same for the thing for the set b calculation for the set b calculation is totally the same as a uh, calculation for set one is 90 minus answer minus minus reading and 270 270 we add it on and get a mean value so after we calculate we will get a value of 16 18 28 and we read for the bia sun for the table the correction will be 0 negative 2 and 5 0 oh. this is the value i get from the table of bia sun and the last one is a tincha di la last we will get from the a minus b ah. so it will be 16 15 and 38 after we calculate it okay okay now we have finished the calculation for part a now we will continue for the calculation in part b so this is the calculation for Pabi. 
the coordinate of the station given in Eastern Noting will is two two o one seven and negative four nine o o point zero meter. So this is the data given. We can find it in the plan acuity of any station from the table lah of the plan acuity. So for the coordinate origin, since we are doing this observation in the state of Pahang, we are doing it in the Pahang. So the coordinate origin we need to refer to the state. State Cassini coordinate. So, I will put a diagram of the coordinate in the video. So, in the in the diagram, we can see the Cassini solidoid for the eastern and northern for the Bahan state is zero zero. Okay, and you can see the latitude value for the Bahan state is zero three degree. Forty two minute and thirty nine second. This two value, we will use it in our game form later on. So, we go back to the game form right now. Okay. In the game form, we will copy just now the value just now is the coordinate origin. I say is zero, zero. Okay. For the Galistan origin U. Is I mentioned just now the latitude for the station, at the latitude for the origin, for Pahang, which is in three four two three nine sec second as just in the diagram just now, okay. For the Jonas they say, this is a summation of a and b, a b a plus b so it will. Will be the same value, okay. Same value, okay. For the Jumna's they say this this value we multiply by the value zero point zero three two five six, okay. Two two one seven multiplied zero zero three two five six, okay. Okay. After we. Press the calculator. We will get this value, but this value is in the unit or second. We have to divide by three hundred, three thousand and six hundred in order to get it in the unit or degree minute second. So, after we divide that, we will get a degree minute second of value zero eleven fifty seven. Then we go right now in the this column. So, the Galistan link down for station U. Is a b a plus b is a summation. Why? This is because. Okay, this is because this is the Galistan ding tang for origin. Okay, is equal to three four two three four two four nine second just now. Okay, but you see, this is a three say. Of the move of the station means this is a positive ah positive because this is utara. This means our station is located outside the Galistan origin of this. This is our station Galistan Lingtang. Okay, so the difference here is just now we calculate is eleven zero eleven and fifty seven second. So what is the value here? So we have to add it on ah. Is three four two four nine add on with the differences here. So we will get a Garrison in tank of our station U. Okay, so we add it on three four two three nine plus zero eleven. Fifty-seven. So okay, we get a value three five two three six. Three five four three six. Okay. After we get this value, 
Okay, next we continue with the Timo and Barat for the candidate. The Garisan Bujo is formula is okay. The Garisan Bujo formula is given by Jumda plus they say multiply by zero zero three two four six. So this is the value negative four multiply. Multiply with zero point zero three two four six. Okay, we will get a value of negative negative one five nine. But you take note this this is in a unit or second, so we don't need to divide it by three thousand and six hundred. So we just copy right now the answer. Okay, for this column we have to use a cell garisan bujo multiply with sine garisan ding tang garisan ding tang is the garisan ding tang is the garisan ding tang for station u so the in the calculator we use the cell garisan ding tang which is negative one five nine point five multiply with sine garisan ding tang u Three fifty five thirty seven. Okay, we will get answer of negative ten point something. Okay, point seven five second for the tirusan. We just tirusan. We just inverse the sign of the this column. So this is negative. We turn it into positive. Then we in the nearest answer is eleven second. Okay, so this is the overall calculation for the part B. So next is the calculation for part C. Uh, this is the depth of our observation sample. So this is the solar observation is done on seven March two thousand three. So we have to look for the almanac. Well, almanac for the seven March two thousand three. So how to use how to search the almanac? I will demo in the computer later on. Okay, for the almanac, you can search in the Google by type nautical. And press enter. Then go to the, this website, the nautical.com, and we search for the year of Amanet we need. For this, we can search for the nautical Amanet, or you can search for the sun Amanet only. The nautical harmonic is included for the star in the back. So we need the year of 2003 and press go. Find the year of our observation. So this is on the 7th March. So we need to find where is the 7th March. Here is March of twenty. Okay. This is a seven March five to seven five six seven. So five to seven five six six seven. So his this is the Almanac for the at seven. So this is the time. This is a declination. The value we need is the declination, and d this small letter d is the changes for every hour in the degree of in the unit of minutes. So by from the table, we just add down for the zero amane, which is negative five. 31.4 minutes. So we go back to the booking form. 
for the bukit form, we have to write down the waktu umum pendidikan, which is getting from here, this 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 value. We copy, and for the waktu umum pendidikan untuk set dua pun sama. So the sera is the difference between these two time is zero four. Okay, for the amanet just now. I have copy right copy down the amane for you. Okay, this is a ut is mean for the universal time. This is the declination of the sun on the that I want is zero seven March two thousand three declination value is negative five degree thirty one twenty four, and uh, this is small letter d is the uh, changes of Every hour is one minute. Uh, so I convert it into second for more easier for our calculation later on. It sixty second. So as you can see, this column is solo stiva pada what jump u t. So at at this sample. We the nearest hour is zero, so we take our zero UT time. So for this three, we copy from the amane for the zero hour. Zero UT is this value negative negative five thirty one twenty four. Then the changes for every hour we write down here. Well, since it is a positive, I write a positive sign here. Okay, for the salise, salise is we calculate by using the time and the changes of every hour. So for the time is zero thirty means zero degree thirty ah thirty minute zero hour thirty minute. Multiply with the changes in second, so we type it as zero zero sixteen second zero zero sixteen second. We press enter. We will get a reading of g thirteen second. Since is the changes is positive, the series also will be positive. Okay, then. The studo stiva pada waktu pendidikan is the summation of a b. This is a plus b. So studo waktu pada waktu pendidikan we can say is understand it as this is the interpolation of the amane. We have to find the declination of the sun when we are having a time of. Zero hour thirty thirty minutes. So after we calculate it, a plus b, we will get a value of negative five. Nine nine plus zero zero thirty. Okay, we will get a value of negative five. Thirty fifty five means at the time of observation of. Thirty minute UT time. So we will have a declination of the sun's negative thirty, thirty and fifty four. Okay. This is the waktu pendidikan sudut setiwa waktu pendidikan pada the our observation time thirty minute zero hour. For here, okay. A plus B. A plus B, okay. So for the jarak kutub, jarak kutub is is like this. Jarak kutub is the distance from the not celestial pole to the sun. So since the almanac said that the sun. Declination is negative five, means the sun is located in the sub 
hemisphere so the polar distance will be 90 degree 90 degree plus with the declination just now in the amane this can be found in the amane so the 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 polar distance will be seen you can see in the diagram it will be greater than 90 degree if now the sun is located is if the amane given is positive positive mean the sun is located in the north hemisphere the sun is here so the polar distance will be always less than 90 degree this is the tip for us to easier memorize the concept ah. so here we have to find the polar distance since the Amane said that the sun is declination is negative, means the sun is located in the sub hemisphere. So, what is the polar distance of the sun? Uh, what is the polar distance for this sample data? So, the polar distance will be 95, 90, 55. So, I said this, this 90 degree plus the declination. The declination we take as modulus. Uh, modulus. So it will be always greater than 90 degree since the distance is more longer you have to reach at the sub hemisphere while for the north is always less than 90 degree so okay for the Gaisan Ding Tang we copy it from the Gaisan Ding Tang station U we just copy it And the Tinjau di Lalas, Tinjau di Lalas, Tinjau di Lalas. Okay, for the Tinjau di Lalas, we copy it from here. And the Purata ke Matahari, we copy from here. And the Purata ke Tia, we copy from here. Okay, Purata ke Matahari, copy. Prata Kitiao, copy. Okay, and the Tirusan, we copy from here, positive 11. Positive. Okay, right now we can continue our calculation in part C. So, how to calculate the azimuth matahari yang dikira? So, by using the formula, cosine azimuth equal to cos polar distance minus sine latitude sine altitude over by cos latitude cos altitude this is uh, alpha actually is altitude as I mentioned just now altitude and Galisan Lintang is our latitude of station and Jarakutu is our polar distance so by using the formula just now okay calculator here I demo how to calculate the formula is given by cos polar distance minus sine latitude sine altitude divided by cos latitude cos altitude. So we substitute into the equation is for polar distance 95 90 15. For V is this Gaisan Ling Tang 3 5 4 3 6. And last one for the Tinja did the last altitude 15 09 41. Okay, then since just now it said is cosine azimuth, so we have to inverse cos to get the answer. Then after we get answer, we this is the answer for azimuth matahari yang dikira. Okay, sorry, there is a mistake just now. Just now is 95, 30, 54. So I have typo just now. This is 54. 
for the Jara Kutub for the Gaisa Ning Tang 95436 for the altitude 150941 okay after we get answer we have to inverse cost in order to get a value 9647 44 second okay this is the Ajimuf Matahari at that moment so let's say now we have calculated the this is the example for the morning sun. Let's say now we have an observation in the evening. The evening with evening sun azimuth. We have to after we get a calculation, we have to use three hundred and sixty minus the answer in order to get the afternoon sun azimuth. Since the afternoon sun, we have to count. We have to calculate. We have to calculate it in a counterclockwise direction while the morning sun we count it at in the clockwise direction. So this is a example you just now get a 96 96 for the azimuth. If for the afternoon sun we will get 296. This is azimuth for the afternoon sun. Let's say for the example. So the in this example we have in the morning sun because we have doing an observation at the eight o'clock in the morning. So next the CDC is azimuth minus D okay. Next is the CDC equal to azimuth minus D D can. This means this A, this is B. The journal equation A minus B. So we have calculate to calculate 96 cosec so for minus juice okay we will get the answer get the answer of 0 4 4 38 then tanda rujukan sebenar yeah, is the equation of selesai tanpa Tanda rujukan yang dititik means this is A plus B. But this is A, this is B. Okay, we just add on with 162. We we'll get an answer for 162, 4438. For the but alas, alas is zero in this equation, this sample, because the our instrument bubble labeling is in a good condition. Okay, for the bubble, Kelombong, this is all in 2, period 2, because the bubble is in the stable condition. So, this summation of right hand side and left hand side is at, at, then I use, this is at, then by using a formula here, Pembatura Aras, summation of left hand side minus right hand side, right hand side minus left hand side is equal to 0 for this example at minus s so 0 whatever multiply with 0 it will be 0 so this is the reason why we get a 0 here and the zero sign is 11 is here so the bearing grid to tanda rujukan is the summation of all means a plus b plus c is a b c a b c we add it on some all 4438 plus 0 plus 11 second and we will get answer 162 4449 okay this is the calculation for set 1 bearing grid to tunnel rujukan for observation 1 well for the observation 2 we repeat the calculation again so I will make it faster here Then the study say for the observation 2 is at the time 34, 0 hour 34 minute. So this 0 hour 34 minute multiply with the changes is 60, 0, 0, 60. So we have a study say of 34 second. Then the after the interpolation calculation, 
we get a what two magnetic which is a plus b negative 5 31 34 plus 0 0 34 okay we will get a what two magnetic is negative 5 30 50 and the polar resistance, the sun is in the south, so it's always greater than 90. So it's 95. Okay. The danger did us, we copy all from the calculation in part A. Then we copy. Okay, now we calculate the azimuth sun. Azimuth of the sun. Okay, this is a value of our azimuth sign for the observation set 2. Okay, this is the observation sign of our observation set 2. Then we continue for the 3 say it's a, a minus b. Zero, four, four, 37. And the uh, tanda rujukan sempena is A plus B. 1624437. Aras is 0. Tiusan positive 11. And the final is A plus ABC. 1624448. So the purat. Okay. So this. The value we get. The Purata bearing grid to TR is the average of this set observation set 1 and observation set 2. The Purata it will be 162, 4449. In the bucket leading, the observation of set 1 and set 2 it should be always less than 10 seconds. So that it will be this it will be acceptable for our calculation right now. Okay, this is that's all for the calculation for part C. So this calculation is very simple because if you divide it in the three zone, part A, part B, and part C, all the calculation will be very easy for you in order to calculate. Okay, that's all. Thank you everyone.